I just came back from a walk around Cambridge and yeah, it was quite nice. have names and this one is called bunny <laughs> so there's a funny story that i vividly remember with these puns well it was more traumatic and a near-death experience than funny but basically the first time i came to cambridge was when i was around 17 on a summer school and we all went punting and we we're all really happy and one of the kids dropped the pole it's super super heavy he dropped that right on my head i blacked out and just like fell back and I literally thought I was gonna die. Thank god I, I didn't die and I didn't get an issue with my head. Well at least I don't think I did. So um yeah but now I try to stay away from those poles because uh, I don't want to get a concussion. <laughs> This clock, whenever we walk past, there's always a swarm of tourists around it and I'm always like, what is so interesting? But there's a deep meaning behind it. Monster on top is a time eater and it's supposed to signify and symbolize how like, you know, our time is like being eaten away and you know, time is precious. And I don't think there's a better time to look at that clock than like right now. Because we honestly spend so much time not in the present, we feel like for some reason like kids these days, as in me, I am the kid, like we're all rushed into making decisions about the future that we're not certain about. We focus so much on trying to make a future perfect life for ourselves that we forget how to just live in the present moment. And then when we look back, we realize that there's so many memories that we didn't make because we were so fixed on the future. And actually, well, for me personally, I really like thinking about the future, discussing about the future, and you know, I really like hearing people's dreams and like stories. But honestly, like for me, now that I think about it, like there really is no rush. I think actually, for the past two months or so, I've had this phase where I have been thinking about the future a lot more than I should be and I feel like sometimes I waste time because I'm not living in the present. For example, like rushing into a career that I'm not so sure about, things like that and kind of forgetting to just live in the present moment. I don't know what it is, maybe it's like social media but like this generation, I feel like we all have this thing where we feel so rushed to you know move on with our lives there's so much push for us to like move on be ambitious and like goal driven career driven and not everybody has to be like that and yeah honestly don't know where i'm going with this but i guess we can look at the clock and think about how right now as you're listening to me <laughs> time is ticking so what are you going to do with your time to make sure that you're living a fulfilling meaningful rewarding life something that i'm always working on to make sure that everything i do is with meaning and purpose but actually i've lost a lot of that recently kind of just brainwashed by society and I'm trying to get back on track. I got a tiramisu which I'm gonna have later and also got a sandwich from Aromi. Weather is really nice today so I'm just gonna go ahead and chill for a bit but also finish off the essay and supervision work. Yeah it's been very busy recently and I haven't had that much time to just reflect or just like chill by myself and I actually thrive a lot from spending time with myself it just helps me to like regenerate I have my last iced coffee from the fridge I think I might get another order soon I sent off the international law essay yesterday and today I'm working on my land law essay which is actually more than half done now which is really really good but it takes a lot of brain power to do this essay but I'm hoping to finish this essay before 2pm so right now it's 11.18 are gone here. They were all here like last week. <laughs> so I'm outside um, to study for a bit and also to eat. 
tiramisu. It's a really nice day. I think I'm gonna edit and eat the tiramisu for a bit first before I do some more reading. I'm currently reading this one, which is only two pages, which is really good, but I still have chapter 17 in these cases to read. battery so I am back but the sun is setting anyway and there's like a grey cloud <laughs> above so a small essay update is that now I just have one small section to do and then I should be good to go so I just finished the essay I did 1710 words although you know quality over quantity but the maximum word count is 1800 so I think I'm like safe ish <laughs> I'm now going to watch a lecture but I'm gonna take a small break before then Hello, it's 10 p.m. I mean, yeah, it's 10 p.m. And now I'm going to answer the last question on my Lanlo Sufu, which is tomorrow. And aha, I have not finished two lectures today, but I, I watched like 10 minutes of it, 13 minutes of it. This lecture doesn't have like a lecture handout, so it's been taking me less time than usual. But for some reason, I'm still taking so long. You know, like when nothing feels real. This is kind of like one of the moments, but yeah, okay. <sighs> So Fitzwilliam is known to be like very far away and it was like a 20, well it was a 30 minute walk but it didn't feel too bad. The supervision itself, it was really good, really intellectually stimulating. Um, what better thing than coffee at 7pm, right? Just student thing. I don't think caffeine affects my sleep. That's what I think. Yes. We love that. Coffee and land law. Perfect combination. So my plan is I have 10 minutes of this lecture left to finish and then I'm gonna go make myself, well, I'm gonna microwave myself to pieces of bread. Okay, no, that sounds really bad. So my mom made bread for me and it's like Chinese pastry bread. So I'm not too hungry today. I had pasta for lunch. So I'm literally just gonna eat like breakfast food for dinner, which doesn't sound too good guys. Like this is not what I'm promoting. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing tonight because I'm not that hungry. Said I was gonna finish free lectures today. Have I finished free lectures today? No, but am I gonna finish free lectures before I sleep? Yes. coordination though all right so i am changed not that anybody's gonna see me but you know like makes me feel like a person I'm gonna go to the iris cafe just because like i don't know other people looking at me makes me want to work so <laughs> got this for lunch later i am prepared to be productive hopefully because i have an essay during two days and i haven't even like looked at the reading properly. Let's go. I even have a purple mask for the aesthetics, you know. I can't let myself down. I pretty much wore this exact outfit when I went to co-op. The other day, I'm like completely out of energy right now. It's a rare occurrence. Over there is like the main Union buildings. And then if you walk along this road, like five minutes is the co-op. 
I think there comes a point where I just have to accept that I'm not gonna finish all of my readings, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to finish all of it. past my window. I can't tell if they can hear me from outside. I mean, I don't know if I care anymore, but yeah. Okay, so I like just walked past like right here and the light just turned on. After my 10 minute dance, 